good start. Uh, fun to be out here on this field again. So uh, a lot of encouraging things, a lot of work to do, just the typical first practice, other than the fact that it was at 7.30 at night. So. How, how did um, did it feel like maybe the player run practices had put you a little bit ahead? I, I don't know. I mean, I uh, I didn't see any of them, so I don't know what they were doing. You know, it, it didn't feel like we were uh, had lost any, any momentum from spring. So I would I would probably say yeah, but I, you know I didn't I didn't see any of them. But uh, I mean, I thought they just kind of jumped back into it and went going, and maybe that's the reason why. How did you feel about the new? Fields, the facilities. Oh, I love the facilities. It's great. I mean, there's obviously, you know, there's things that are, uh, you know, that we'll have to adjust to as we go, as we relearn it. You mm -hmm. know, space issues and things like that. But um, it's great. The field, the field is uh, fine. And the facility's amazing. And, you know, so it's it's fun to be back out here. It just feels good to be in an enclosed space. It just makes it feel uh, a more cohesive, I guess. Who's uh, 27 blue running back? Josh Kelly. Josh Kelly. Okay. You know, we always ask you this after the first one. Anyone jump out at you? <laughs> <laughs> we have to ask it. I knew you were going to ask me. Yeah. I, uh, uh, not really. I, I was watching more like procedure and things like that rather than just the individuals. Uh, Greg Rogers kind of kind of jumped out at me, and Martin Andrews kind of jumped out at me, you know, uh, in two interior defensive linemen, uh, linemen. Uh, but other than that, you know, I was watching kind of too many things. When I watch the film tomorrow, or tonight, probably tomorrow, then you'll you'll see things that you didn't, you know, you didn't really see with the naked eye out here. Are there things you're doing to kind of make this like San Bernardino in a way? I think a while back you had said they're not going to be getting in their cars and going in and out. Or are there kind no. of rules of engagement here that are kind of like a training camp? Or Well, right now it's hard because they, they are still in school. Hmm. So they're in the dorms. And uh, when they move into Luskin on Friday, then that changes the environment. But right now, I mean, they go to the dorms. And so I don't really, we don't really have control of that. And that's unlike we've ever had before, you know, because we've never started camp when the school's been in session. Mm -hmm. So there's some challenges with that. But uh, yeah, once once we get to Friday, it's you know when you're in, you're in. You're here, you're here. It's unless we decide that yeah. And th really, they're not going to have time to, to go do much. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really full day. Mm -hmm. And I believe when they're not working or in meetings, they'll probably be laying down. Are you going to have speakers come in and do like bond, team bonding stuff? Um, I know you did that in the past, like we went to Malibu Creek and stuff like that. Oh, no, you mean we went to uh, Bruin Woods? Uh, I think yeah, so. yeah, we went to Bruin Woods. No, we're not going to do that. I mean, we always do things. You know, we bring people in and uh, a lot of different types of player programs and training and things like that. But, uh, uh, I mean, we have some things that we're going to do. You know, I think the most important thing, though, is that they have this building where they can congregate and spend time around each other. And I think that's going to be the most important part of this. It didn't look like Sosa Jamalbo got too much action in 11 on 11. So at the end of practice, is he, is he doing okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, he worked all day. Yeah. I mean, it could have just been rotation. I know you can't comment individually on recruiting, but it seems like you picked up a lot of momentum recently. Um, does it feel good? And, and maybe this, this new building is already kind of paying off in a sense. I think the new building is just very impressive to everybody that, that walks through it or walks by it. And it, you know, uh, the families of our players, when we came in here Sunday, you know, they were just blown away by it. And I think anyone that, that has a chance to go in there and say, you know, this is going to be my home for four years, it's pretty impressive. So without commenting on recruiting, <laughs> I'll say it's pretty impressive. What did, what did your dad think of it? He hasn't seen it yet. Okay. I mean, he, he, he did not want to see it until it was finished. He's one of those guys, you know. <laughs> I don't want to see it until it's, until it's done. You know? So, uh, uh, and he didn't come over for the grand opening. So, uh, I'll show it to him when he gets here. Um, you know, he'll, he'll like it. It's hard really not, it's not, it's hard not to like. And, you know, they're still working on it. There's so many great things that are still going to happen to it. You know, it's really not finished yet. Mm -hmm. And every time you walk through it, it's just more spectacular. So, uh, it's pretty fun to have. I was, you know, standing back here and looking at it during practice. You know, three or four or five years ago, it was just this kind of dream. 
and then you sit there and look at it, it's like, wow, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. It seems kind of like perfect conditions for football practice. Yeah, other than the fact that it's 1030 <laughs> at night right now, <laughs> yeah. you know, and these yeah. guys have got to get up and be in meetings at 630 in the morning. Yeah. And then they've got school all day and come back. It's, this is a grind for these guys these yeah. next three days. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that, uh, as I've said a couple of times in the last week or so, I think the NCAA made the right decision with regards to eliminating two-a-days. Mm -hmm. But adding the time on the front end makes it very challenging because uh, these kids are pressured now. They're in finals. You know, they have papers and finals due over the next two days, and then they've got to start a camp. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're trying to, you know, be considerate of their time and trying to be concerned with player safety, and yet we're putting this enormous load on them for three or four days, and it's really, it's very challenging, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, they just push through it. They grind. They're great kids, and, and uh, you know, I think once we get to Saturday, and we have more time. You know, it'll really, it'll really be great. How would you not have two days, but still not have to tack on that extra week in front to maintain the same number of practices that you would need to get ready for? for I don't know. I mean, obviously, you know, I, nobody asked me, so <laughs> I didn't tell you. Uh, I you don't didn't know. have to think of the solution, so. No, I mean, I had to, I had to think of a solution because <laughs> we had to come out here and practice, but. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know the answer to that. It's, it's tough, it's, uh, you know, it's not for me to decide, I guess. I can only decide how we can function within the rules. But uh, I think that in general, my, my belief is that it's okay not to have two-a-days. You know, in the long run, I think it's the correct decision to make, but it's just, it's challenging just because they're student athletes and we have to respect the fact that they, they have to go to class, you know, and they have to be prepared for their study, their, their tests, and they have papers due. And, you know, I mean, there's a number of these guys that I'm sure will leave here and they'll go study for a couple hours and then they'll be back in meetings at 6.30 in the morning, you know, and that's, that's a grind. Yeah. I think, though, you said you didn't look at a lot of players. I, I think maybe you'd cheat and take a few minutes and look at Sonny Adogu. I watched him. I thought he did a nice a job, and I thought Stefan did well. You know, it... I hadn't seen Stefan at all because he hasn't been around all summer. And uh, you could tell that uh, he hasn't been in our strength and conditioning and mostly conditioning program. But I know this is, uh, you know, when I did look at him, his athleticism and his footwork were, you know, just what I thought they'd be. So but he's got a long ways to go. And it, it obviously hurt him not being able to be part of the summer program, but I expect him to, to catch up quickly. And Mike physically looks a little bit better, like he's getting in better shape. Yeah, I think he's doing fine. You know, I mean, it's been a long road for him, and I respect the fact that he's just continued to push and and uh, and stay committed. And uh, you know, he's gone through some things that a lot of young people go through, and he's he's uh, he's coming out the other side in a positive way. And I'm I'm encouraged by it. I'm happy for him. Um, and I'm excited about his attitude and the things. The good things are starting to happen to him. Molson, I think, was perfect today. Mm -hmm. We talked earlier about his, uh, with him talking to Anderson about mm -hmm. uh, some things. Uh, does he seem like kind of a, a renewed sense of confidence right now? It started really uh, right after the season. He just sat down. And I think he'd be a great guy if you guys to talk to because it's pretty, pretty neat what he's done. Is he, he's really created a great structure and routine for himself. Mm -hmm. uh, and it really started in January. Um, and then the final piece, really, of the, the routine and the structure was just the introduction that I was able to make between he and Morton. I coached Morton in New Orleans and coached him in Atlanta when he had finished his career. And I just reached out to Morton and said, you have a really talented young man that, you know, admires you and would love to talk to you. And Morton, because he's Morton and he's such a generous guy, immediately got with J.J. And J.J. will tell you about it, but he's got, you know, notes and pages of notes from talking to Morton about the mental aspect of preparation, routine, uh, you know, all of the things that Morton did that's, you know, enabled him to be a guy going into the Hall of Fame this weekend. It's pretty cool. And I think we'll have him come out here for a couple days and be around our team, and he, he wants to do that, so it'll be good for JJ. We talked about things being tricky with this being the tail end of Summer Session A. Are any of these guys enrolled in CSESH classes? Quarters, I don't even know what C session, session. That's the next session, the next no,